right at the top because he referenced the tackles today. The physicality you guys practice with even before you go full pads. I mean, how does that play into putting pads on is not a big, more big of a deal? Yeah, I mean, I'd say once we throw the pads on, then we can let the physicality show. But I think, feel like even without the pads, everyone's got the mentality that they're they're going to go out there and, you know, in the run game, we're going to make blocks. In the pass game, we're going to be physical and win our routes. Uh, that, uh, I was just about to say, um, that's a standard not for the defense, but for the offense. I, I see it from the offense as well, um, whether they're blocking, uh, again, to the next level with, with the O-line, everything. Uh, the physicality is there, and that's the standard for uh, that's the standard we're going to keep from the Y'all needed a real muggy day. What did y'all think of that span of mornings in a row that were misty and light and cooler? What what you think? I, I enjoyed practicing in the morning. I, I mean, that's all I can really say, but I enjoyed it because I feel like um, you're waking up, into getting straight into it, you have a lot of energy, and then the rest of the day you're meeting, uh, getting corrections and everything. Well, what would you say you bring to – the secondary and what's your time in Arkansas been like to this point? Um, my time in Arkansas has been amazing. And every single person, including you guys, have been amazing. So I just want to say I appreciate you guys from that standpoint. Um, what I think I could bring to the defense is a, a leadership role because I am an older guy. Um, I understand what it looks like and what it is going to be like on the game. So the young guys, they have everything, all the mechanics, the tools, everything. So just fixing the little things, which is very important. Uh, fixing the little things will help us uh, in in game. And I just like from our first soda crab practice, we were doing a, a bubble drill, and I just wanted to set the tone to show the defense this is how this is how we're gonna be, this is how physical we're gonna be. Yeah, and I can back that. I mean, he he's a real leader, both in the way you know, that he plays, but also both in he's he's very much a leader. It's, more on Al, his, his play, you know, experiencing, I guess, maybe if you guys have gone against each other in practice, what have you thought of him? Yeah, I mean, actually, on my official visit, I was here with Al, so I got to know him a little bit on my official visit, and, you know, we exchanged highlights and we watched each other. So, we had that connection since, uh, since day one. I know y'all see. <laughs> <laughs> and it happens in practice, too. Like, y'all, it, I, I don't know. Like, I'm just really excited about the season, but I know we have to take it each, each day at a time, each practice at a time, each meeting at, at a time. And I don't like to look far into the season, but man, that's, you know, I'm doing really stuff. Yeah. That's all I feel about that. The other defensive backs, there's, there's a lot of new faces in that room. You know, can you maybe go through any guys that have stood out to you uh, just, you know, going against them in practice? Yeah. I mean, Snacks brings it every day. He's, he's one of those guys that, you know, they, talk, they like to talk about corners not being physical. You know, they're kind of scared of putting their nose in on the run game, but he's a guy. That's going to go put his shoulder down and make some tackles, but also someone that I can, you know, stack up with any uh, receiver in the SEC. Uh, I asked Andrew yesterday kind of what was the biggest change from going from a smaller school to the SEC, he said that the seats in Razorback Stadium. For you, what's kind of been like the biggest, oh, wow, moment I'm, I'm here playing in the SEC? Yeah, I mean, just the – the skill level of the DBs and just how smart and physical they are is something I never really faced at the D2 level. Obviously, you know, that's more of a, a tribute to the SEC than it is like a knock at D2 because there's like obviously a ton of good players uh, where I was before, but definitely just, you know, the physicality. And I didn't face a lot of man-to-man -man, uh, back at Hillsdale. So here learning how to get off man-to-man uh, -man and press and stuff like that is something I needed to adjust to. Off the field specific that's that stood out? Man, I just love the community here. Uh, my first time ever coming to Arkansas uh, was on my visit, and you never know what to expect when you're visiting somewhere that uh, many people don't know about. So coming here to Fayetteville, it's just you know, the atmosphere and the fans here and just the pe people in the community, I feel like it's been incredible. Amen. Do you have – Coach Pittman said he prefers you as safety, but you may have to play some hog, nickel, whatever. Do you have a preference between those two, or does it make you any difference? It doesn't make any difference. I love to be on the field, whether it's a corner and linebacker. If I could play Dean, I would. But um, uh, in a DB room, uh, Coach Wilson does a great job of having us uh, learn at each and every spot because whether it's uh, J. Lou has, uh, is playing a hog, he still has to learn the uh, free safety and boundary safety because, you know, uh, you might want to rotate each other, uh, all of us in there. So um, it doesn't matter to me personally, I'm not sure. Very good luck for the group. But Coach said you made up some time in the summer. 
do you feel like you know quite a bit of playbook? I mean, you feel pretty comfortable in the defense now. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I, um, even in the spring, you know, when I was out, I was still in those in the, in the playbook and, and meetings and stuff still, you know, trying to lead off the field. You know, although it is kind of hard, you're not on the field, not understanding um, where they're, they're, they're going through out there with, um, like, the plays and stuff. And, but, you know, just trying to lead in that way and, um, yeah, pretty much. This guy said the other day he was in here. He said about I think he said nine receivers would travel or something, but all of you play special teams. Just talk about how it's been for you, uh, Broden and Armstrong coming in as transfers and adjusting to everything and working on special teams and in the rotation too. Yeah, obviously coming into a new situation, you never know what to expect. Uh, but you know, you said me, Broden, and Armstrong. I feel like we have really adjusted to. You know, we kind of practice style that we have, the offense that we have with uh, Coach Enos. And then just in the receiver room with Guyton, I feel like he's a real leader and he knows, you know, how to get us right and uh, really motivates us in the in the film room and then also out on the field as well. Good question to both you guys. Um, Isaac, uh, specifically you, uh, Bakke, uh, what have you seen from him? Like, it seems like he just keeps showing up. And and uh, if you've got any thoughts on, on him also from a defensive back standpoint. Um. From the from what I see from the spring to now, his uh I believe his route running ability to try to stack a a, a, a DB and get in and out the breaks. That's what I'm seeing from him. And then um he's becoming more uh more of a leader, although he's younger, but he's he's becoming more of a leader as well from what I'm seeing. Yeah, he was talking about the details. I feel like he's really been you know on the field uh, figuring out the details of wide receiver, but also he's just one of those high motor guys. He's he's gonna be you know 110 percent every single play no matter what. And uh, what's your thoughts on on KJ from defensive standpoint and, and offensive? Yeah, I mean I feel bad for for the defense honestly. I mean how do you even how do you handle someone like that that can you know throw the ball uh, and you know be such a threat in the run game as well? It's KJ Jefferson, you know what I mean? Um, a, a leader, you know what I'm saying, all around. And then, you know, you got a great offense to complement a, a great defense, you know. So, it's going to be – I just – I believe that. It seems like every day before today, and obviously Andrew Armstrong can mention today, it seems like every other day he's getting a shout-out for making a play or, or leading. And the same thing I didn't say was pretty savvy yesterday. What, what do you all see from, from Andrew? Yeah, I mean, I feel like – I'm running around, and I look over my shoulder. Next thing you know, the ball's going down to Andrews, 60-yard touchdown every other play. I mean, that dude, he's just – I mean, for the, how big he is, his size and speed and savviness, it's just crazy how able – like how good he is at, you know, getting in and out of breaks and stuff like that, but also being able to just burn by a DB. He's just – he's a real dog. I know it sounds redundant on my part, but like I said, these guys are making plays – Play you have to play as a player. And like I said in my interview before, tall, fast, and do whatever you do whatever you need. And just, you know, Jude, he's gonna go get the ball. He's gonna come out his breaks the, the right way. He's gonna block anything anything you need he can and will do. And I think that's what I'm most excited about. You guys are looking for a, a scrimmage on Saturday. I guess it'll be your first bit, bit major scrimmage of camp. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm always excited to, you know, we get to wear pads every day, but to be able to actually, you know, go full contact and go to the ground and stuff like that, I feel like that's when you can really see the true colors of the offense and the defense when they're able to, you know, they're able to shed a tackle or, the, you know, the defenders are able to bring the guy to the ground. I feel like that really brings out, you know, some some energy, but also it shows you, like, where you're at as an offense and a defense. I agree with that. Um, on my part, per personally, I, I I like to tackle a lot. I like to be physical, so I'm ready for that to bring somebody to the ground and uh, see the offense do do their part as well. I wonder what your take is on on Danny. You know, it's uh, you know you went through spring. You know, it's his second time around here, but just wonder what your take is on, on him. And you guys are both both Michigan guys. Yeah, yeah, no, that was a cool connection we had uh, at the beginning there. But he's just. I mean, he's an offensive genius. I feel like everything that a defense brings, we have an answer to. And he knows, uh, you know, how to move guys around and put the offense in a great spot where we're going to be able to go and, you know, have an answer to any anything the defense brings uh, against them. Like you said, put the offense in a great spot, whether it be motions, his schemes, his schemes. It's wonderful, you know what I'm saying? To see it as a defense, he makes, he makes uh, the defense better, you know what I'm saying? No, we have yeah. to adjust 
for certain emotions and things, you know, that she's probably not expecting. So you're gonna have to communicate. We're gonna have to communicate on the back end and in the front to um to answer to those uh, types of things. Uh, you said you like the tackle. Uh, mm -hmm. I think SBC Network had uh, KJ or Rocket is the number two like person SEC player. Uh, he doesn't want to tackle. I think it was a K of spikes or something. And KJ number four. Are you excited to tackle those guys? I mean, what's it like going to be trying to bring down two hundred forty two pound Rocket Sanders? Um, I think it's, it's it's amazing. I'm I'm very happy that he's on our team. I want to say that because in the game I'm sure it's probably way different. He, he's trying to protect us as well. But, I mean, I think it's going to be good. It's going to really set me up for the uh, the games, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to have to compete and go against guys, maybe not in game rocket, but, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be as talented and very good. So I got to be prepared to go against these big tight ends and running back quarterbacks as well. Just real quick, uh, what's, I don't mean any disrespect to this. What's up with the, the capital S? Is that like, a, is there something like with your background and your family? I mean, where does that last name come from? Um, supposedly it's French. My my family's very Dutch. I don't I don't know where the capital S came from, but I mean it helps with the pronunciation. Everyone thinks it's Tesla, but it's Tesla. So I I don't know where it comes from, but I think it's pretty neat. I think uh, Coach Souders said the other day that you're he called you a freak show in the weight room. Just what are some of the areas as far as uh you know in the weight room body transformation that you feel like you've made the biggest strides since you got here? Yeah, you're right. A freak show, like. I'm watching it, bro. I'm like, what the heck? As a receiver, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm I'm pretty strong guy as well, but watch I'm like the clean bench squat. Huh? That's gonna be a problem. Yeah, the 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 weight no, you're good. The weight room is something I've always uh clung to and I feel like that's somewhere where, you know, you don't need talent to go and you know put the work in the weight room. So that's somewhere I feel like where if I can get bigger, stronger, more physical in the weight room, that's something I'm gonna do and that's something I've always done so when I got here, you know, I just wanted to be, I wanted to come in every day and make sure I was out, out working every day. That was, you know, that was my goal. But, I mean, he does every day, but it seemed like today he's really in everything. Talk about what you guys have seen from Jacoby. Yeah, Jacoby's a real, I mean, he's an athlete and a quarterback. So, you know, he's going to be able to move in the pocket, but also make throws outside of the pocket. And, he honestly throws one of the best balls I've ever seen from any quarterback. That thing, I mean, he's got some zip on it, and he gets a little touch on it. I feel like he's, you know, just an all-around, you know, very solid quarterback. He's able to make the, the throws wherever, you know, inside the pocket, outside the pocket. He's able to get that thing very well. He can definitely put in a tight spot. In my experience, he can put in a tight spot. That's all I have to say. Um, very good, very talented, very talented. Getting better each and every day from summer to, to now. Um, very good. I can't wait to see that as well. Thank y'all. Thank you guys. Have a great